like I get up I put on the kettle and then suddenly I'm eating oatmeal it's like this routine I can't believe it's this early 722 I'm gonna give you a little tutorial on how to make the best oatmeal it's my favorite oatmeal I would I also have a cup of tea so I'm gonna take half a banana. And this is this has been um cut for a while, so we're we're gonna compost. You just wanna mash up your banana. It's the only thing you want in your bowl. This is what it should look like. Just mash it on up. This is this is this is a very big bag of oatmeal. Okay, then, it, then we have these chia seeds, but we're gonna save that for later. I always have this tea. This tea can't go wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Gets you caffeinated. Perfect. Also, we'll be taking one of these. I actually can't live a normal life without taking a probiotic. So, we have a giant bag of berries from Costco. And also, flaxseed. I also can't live a life without flaxseed. Because I'll get constipated. And I don't want to be taking any more, <laughs> um, what's it called? I don't get laxative. <laughs> I don't want to be taking any more laxative. <laughs> Kettle's boiled. Cooking isn't hard. Me. Boils water. Also me. Cooking isn't hard. <laughs> okay. And just fill it up with hot water. No milk. Just hot water from the kettle. Look at the steam. Over the years, and meaning the past two to three months, I um, realized I don't eat sugar in my tea, which is great, because sugar does not make me feel good. Okay, this is what I do. When the oatmeal has um, oatmealed, you can see it, it got thicker. Then, I just, some chia seeds on top as kind of like a like a padding a launch pad or a um, um, a, a, a loading zone a dock I don't know and get some berries and then you just on. Pop them on. Peanut butter. Healthy peanut butter only. Okay. Just drizzle it on. Okay. And then you switch out utensils. Put your dishes in the dishwasher, like a good member of the family always oh, does. Okay, and then just top it off. Cinnamon. All right, guys. This is my um. Why does my tea look like that? This is my breakfast. This is what I eat every single day. I probably get ate this every single day this year. And I'm not kidding, it tastes so good, so. 
here I go, I'm time to eat. So right now, I'm going to be planking for three minutes. And then I'm gonna go on a walk. But I have nothing else to do. So a two hour walk kills a lot of time that I could be watching Netflix. So that's why I do it. So, here we go. Active for the first two hours of the day. Okay. I just walked 12 kilometers. And if you don't believe me, I can show you. is that I mailed my friends letters. Can't show the address, obviously, but this was when I received back because I, I, and then suddenly I became a pen pal and I'm actually um, two people's pen pals. So I have to write them back. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I started this one on May 15th and it's, May 23rd <laughs> and I just wasn't feeling inspired and then it was really hot for three days in a row and now I'm like finally feeling alive. So I'm gonna finish this letter and then write back to my cousin and then I'm gonna actually mail them because I actually have stamps but I'm running out and I only have three left and stamps are so expensive and um it's fine. It's fine. Anyways, yeah, write back my friends, write them letters. That's a good idea if you want to do something. Plus, it's really nice to write and get your feelings out and create something. And I'm going to do that, and I'm going to have my matcha. Pretty good. Okay, I just wet my hair. because I'm going to sit outside in the sun. Don't worry, I lathered up. I'm all greasy. I'm gonna read this book. I'm almost done. Like, hey Sarah, go enjoy the rest of your day. He let you off early? Yeah. Nice, look at you, Sarah. For dinner, my mom made nachos. Doesn't that look good? Mmm. I'm all showered and I figured I would show you guys my favorite albums to listen to on the record player. Okay, so my all-time favorite one is Carol King Tapestry, Fleetwood Mac Rumors. My dad, these are all my dad's. My dad has these and I I didn't buy these ones. These are my dad's, so he, he is, he's pretty hip. Carol King and Fleetwood Mac, oh. Okay, and then Billy Joel, 52nd Street. I love this album. It's really good, but I really like um, The Stranger a lot more. That's my favorite Billy Joel album. Okay, Beatles, Abbey Road, and then Revolver. This is a great album, this was a gift. Same with that one, those were gifts. But um, this album is actually so good. Like, it's such a great album just to listen, like, listen to. Obviously you can't skip songs, so. Um, just listening to it all the way through is so nice. This is, I think Magical Mystery Tours is my favorite Beatles album. It was also released on my birthday, November 27th, but in a different year, obviously. This album makes me cry. Hello Goodbye, Penny Lane, All You Need Is Love, and Strawberry Fields are all on this album, and every single, those songs made me cry. That's when I think you know that you love an album. <laughs> then, this one is an interesting one, Spyro Gyra. There's no singing, it's just music. Um, it's kind of like funky blues, elevator music, elevated, elevated elevator music. That's a term. Um, it's great to listen to when you're cooking because it's kind of one of those groovy songs, groovy albums, and you can focus while you're cooking, and I love it. It's a good dinner, cooking, party music. 
This one is great. Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. This one is a great album. It's one of those ones we like listening to when we're cooking or doing the dishes. <laughs> made some hot water, honey, lemon, and ginger tea because my stomach does not feel good. And the nachos. And <laughs> not sit well with me. It was very tasty, but I ate a lot and now I'm paying the consequences. Okay, it's late at night and I'm all ready for bed. I started watching this Netflix show called Sweets magnolias it's one of those netflix originals that has 10 episodes um kind of good kind of bad but it's good enough that like you can keep watching it and what i realized is that i cannot watch tv show especially now that has any sort of violence or anything bad happens or if there's any scary moments i cannot watch that tv show and um this show nothing bad or scary happens well i don't know i'm in the last episode and it's called storms and rainbows so <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> but um i really like it i got my um essential oils going and I'm all ready for bed. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end the vlog here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've never actually um come on the vlog of any video and said like, comment, and subscribe. This is the first time I'm publicly asking for that. I know. Quarantine has changed me. Yeah, I really hope you liked this day in my life video. Please comment. Please just tell me anything. Um, I'm really bored. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and good night.